all of you to this holy event with great joy and reverence. Let us enter into this grace-filled moments of priestly ordination. Thank you very much. It's my honor and pleasure to present Deacon George Kaya Pari, who is going to be ordained as seventh priest of our diocese.
I do firmly believe all that is contained in the Word of God, and everything written and handed over to us through tradition, and everything that has been divinely revealed through the Church, and officially defined, either through the ordinary or the universal teaching authority of the Church. I accept with a firm faith all the teachings on faith and morals decreed by the Church. Similarly, I adhere by religious assent of the will and intellect, the teachings which either the Roman Pontiff or the College of Bishops declare or they exercise the ordinary magisterium, even if they do not intend to proclaim them by the definitive act. I promise that I will wholeheartedly obey Pope Mar Francis, the successor to Peter and the head of the Universal Church. I promise that I will be loyal to the major archbishop, Mar George Allen Cherry, the head and father of the Zero Mulder Church, and to his successors. I promise and profess that I will wholeheartedly and loyally obey Bishop Mar Joy Alapa, the head and father of our diocese, and that I will never go against his or his successors' orders. May the God the Most High be of my help, and praise be to Him. And may the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ be of my witness. Amen. We pray for the ordinance to unite his desires into the heart of the psalmist. The desire to be made worthy, the desire to be made worthy to enter the temple of the Lord and serve his majesty and chosen people. At the beginning and end of the each canon, the candidate needs love respectfully. The him, how eminent for peace is this throne? which depicts the high honor and uniqueness of the priestly ministry. The following prayers and hymns signify the anointing for priesthood and the responsibilities for which the candidate is being ordained. During the second canon, the ordinate, led by the archdeacon, kisses the altar on the right side and then the baptismal form, which reminds the priestly responsibility.
praise the Lord of hosts. My soul longs indeed it faints for the words of the Lord.
വെറും ബാലനാണെന്ന് നീ പറയരുത് ഞാൻ അയക്കുന്നിടത്തേക്ക് നീ പോകണം ഞാൻ കൽപ്പിക്കുന്നത് എന്തെന്ന് സംസാരിക്കണം നീ അവരെ ഭയപ്പെടേണ്ട നിന്റെ രക്ഷയ്ക്ക് നിന്നോടുകൂടെ ഞാനുണ്ട് കർത്താവാണ് ഇത് പറയുന്നത് അനന്തരം കർത്താവ് കൈനീട്ടി എന്റെ അതിരത്തിൽ സ്പർശിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് അരുളി ചെയ്തു ഇതാ എന്റെ വചനങ്ങൾ നിന്റെ ജ്ഞാപിൽ ഞാൻ നിക്ഷേപിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു the gift of God that you have to the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony. Let us all kneel down and pray fervently for Deacon George Farai that the Holy Spirit may descend upon him and strengthen him to proclaim the Holy Gospel, to serve faithfully at the altar.
is also a man of public service for our nation through my feet and everybody has now always and Proclaim the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. May Jesus, in the gospel, be the source of all your strength, and His gospel be the law of your life. For the service of priestly ministry in the church. George R. A. is separated, purified, sanctified, and perfected forever in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in the Thank you. 